I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear equations. We'll take up a very important question, which is based on applications of mixtures. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Also check my website for new videos. The question here is, cost of three mixtures prepared from the same lot of dry fruits containing almonds, raisins, and cashews is given in the table below. Determine the rate of the ingredients. So we have provided you with three different types of mixtures, mixture A, mixture B, and mixture C, in which almonds, raisins, and cashews are mixed in different quantities, and their cost is given. So with 10 pounds of almonds, 26 pounds of raisins, and 16 pounds of cashews, the mixture will cost $380. And when this ratio is 15, 32, 12, the cost is 420. And when they are mixed in the ratio of 20, 36, 16, 14, the cost is 502. So clearly, the cost is dollars per pound. You need to find the cost of each ingredient, which is almonds, raisins, and cashews. So I hope the question is absolutely clear. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my solution. Now, in such cases, what should be our approach? Well, we need to find the rate. So let us say, let the rates be, let's say A for almonds, R for raisins, and C for cashews, right? So let these be the rates. So in that case, you can actually write down three different equations. So we have 10 a plus 26R plus 16C equals to the total cost of this, which is 380, right? The other equations will be 15A plus 32R plus 12C equals to 420. And then we have 20A plus 36R plus 14c equals to 502. So you have three equations with three unknowns. We need to simplify them and then find the values of a, r, and c, right? So that should not be very difficult. Now the question is, how do we simplify them? Well, clearly, we could eliminate a, right? So we could eliminate a from these equations, 10, 15, and 20. So there are many ways of doing it. So what you could do is that you could multiply this equation by 2, right? So then you get 20 here, correct? And then you can consider these two equations to eliminate A, correct? You could also multiply this equation by 1.5, right? So if you do this times 1.5, then it becomes 15. And then from that, you could eliminate A. So in either case, you'll get two different equations with R and C, right? So that will result into equations with, let me write down here, R and C. So we have two equations with R and C, and from these two equations, you can eliminate one and get the other. Perfect. So that is how you could solve it. Now, since we are using calculators, so I'm not really bothered about the big numbers, but another efficient way could be that instead of multiplying the first equation by two, you could also divide the second equation by two, right? We could also divide this equation by two, right? If you do that, then what do you get? In that case, this equation will turn to 10a plus 18r plus 7c equals 2, uh, 2, 5, 1, correct? So in that case, you can use these two equations. Is that clear to you? So you could do that also as an alternative, right? So multiply or divide, whatever you do, you make to make, you have to make the same coefficients, right? So make same coefficients 
to eliminate let's say in this case a right so that will be great so that is going to be the strategy perfect now you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my calculations so i'll basically follow the same strategy and calculate the results so once again we have the same question i made this table here and now we get our equations as discussed 10a 26r 16c from these values we are taking that the a is elements r is raisins and c is the cost for cashews in pounds in dollars per pound right so that gives you the cost in terms and we have la labeling this as equation one similarly we get our equations two and three from 15 32 12 420 is the cost we get the second equation 20 36 14 502 20 36 14 502 with a r c as the variables and 502 as the cost so we have these three equations and now what am i doing now i'm going to multiply the first equation with two right so i'm doing this multiplying the first equation by two once i do that then i get the coefficients of a as 20 and then i can subtract uh, one equation from the other so i'm doing now the subtraction from three is two that gives me the equation four correct so 20a minus 20a is zero However, 52 minus 36 is 16, and 32C minus 14C is 18C. So we get 258 as 760 minus this, correct? So basically at this stage, we multiplied the first equation by 2, and then from there, we took away equation number 2. Is that clear to you? So we get one equation in R and C, right? So, so I'm highlighting this equation, which is in R and C, right? We are leaving this as equation 4. Perfect. Now, to get 15, what have I done? Well, to get 15, I actually multiplied the first equation by 1.5. Correct? So, to get 15, I multiplied the first equation by 1.5. So, here they go. I just times it with 1.5 times. So, 10 times 1.5 is 15. And I did get some numbers which now could be utilized with equation 2. So combining this with equation 2, we get the third equation, correct? So that is our equation 2, and when you subtract one from the other, we get another equation in R and C, which is 7R plus 12C plus 150. Perfect. So you can pause the video and see the calculations, how they have been done, and match your solution. Perfect. So now we have two equations which are with R and C as the unknowns. Now, we have 18C here and 12C, so I prefer to multiply this by 1.5. So equation 5 has been multiplied by 1.5, and then we're taking it away from equation 4. So now utilizing these two equations will further solve for R and C. So what you get this equation 4, as written here, equation 4 is 16R plus 18C equals to 258, and that is your equation 4. And equation 5 times 1.5 is 10.5. We do get a decimal when you multiply 7 by 1.5, which is 10.5 plus 18C, correct? So this equation has been multiplied by 1.5. So if you do this equation by 1.5, what you get here is 10.5R plus 18C equals to 225, correct? So that is what we have written here, correct? Now we can eliminate C from here. When you subtract, then these terms get cancelled, and therefore we do get the value of R. So the value of R will be, so 10.5 minus taken away from 16 will give you 5.5R. And here we get 258 minus 225 is 33. When you divide 33 by 5.5, you get the value of R as 6. Substituting 6 in the previous equation, we get the value of C, right? Then once you know that R is equal to 6, 
we can substitute this, right? Sub in equation 4, correct? Sub in equation 4 to find the value of C. Once you find the value of C, sub in equation, let's say 1, right? So we use the equation 1 to substitute the value for R and C and find the value of A. So you can just rearrange and then find the value of A as shown here. So we get our solution, which is that the elements are eight pounds, eight dollars per pound, raisins being six dollars per pound, and cashews being nine dollars per pound in this particular example. So I hope you understand how you could simplify it. So it all remains up to you. How do you simplify these equations? Well, when you see the even numbers, you could be also dividing them by two, making them much simpler, right? That could be another approach. So alternate could be, since we are using this equation, divide this by two, right? We have all even numbers here. So that will bring those numbers much smaller. Dividing by two and then multiplying by five, or three or two further helps to simplify the solution, right? So I like you to follow different strategies to solve such questions. In any case, I hope you understand how do we find uh, the values of three unknowns from three different equations. So this could be utilized for any question where there are three equations and three unknowns. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. You can always send an email on the address given for any questions to be answered. Thanks for your time and all the best.